In this tutorial, I'll show examples of how the new Quantum HDR engine in Aurora HDR 2019 automatically analyzes and tone maps single images to produce the best starting point to begin processing our photos. Let's get started. For the main screen, let's open our first image. We'll click the Create HDR button. Now Aurora begins to analyze and tone maps the image. This looks great. Now let's hide the side panel and the Aurora HDR looks panel. I'll just click on the buttons here. Now we can look at the image full screen. To compare the original image to the tone mapping image, click the quick preview button and this will toggle between the original image opened and the current version we're working on. Another way of doing this is by using the keyboard shortcut backslash. Great. Now, comparing the images, we can see how Aurora has automatically added depth, clarity, and increased the color range. Now, let's look at a few other images. This is nice. Now, let's compare the original to the tone mapping version. Here's the original. And here's the tone mapping version. Now, do you remember in the very beginning how I said Aurora was going to get us to the best starting point so we can begin our processing of our photos? Well, if we come up here, we're going to click on the Aurora HDR Looks panel. Now, that button is going to open up the collections. And from here, let's use the dramatic look effects. For this particular look, let's apply the creative drama to it. Ooh, that looks really good. Before and after. Now let's look at another image. And this tone mapping worked great on people too. Here's before and after. For this one, let's click on Gloomy Drama. And let's move the amount slider down right about there. That looks great. So here it is before and after. Let's do one more. Good, let's compare before and after. And let's go to the essentials looks and apply deep. Right about there. Great. So thanks to Aurora's new Quantum HDR engine, we now have the best starting point to begin processing our photos.